mata tá, meu. What is up people? Welcome back to the struggle. So getting hurt sucks. Way back in February, I wanted to make a video getting comfortable learning the skate transition. That is big ramps, bowls, half pipes, that sort of thing. So we started by just learning how to ollie in the transition. And then I went and dislocated my shoulder while practicing. Good times. After a few weeks of feeling extremely sorry for myself, I finally managed to drag myself out on the board a little bit. And I can tell you this was a painful experience. Even the simple stuff was stupid hard and frustrating because we were in so much pain. It took way longer than expected to get back to the point where we could even just skate normally. Luckily, there were a lot of friends out skating to help keep the good times rolling. This injury really took me out this time, and I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit worried. It made me realize I'm gonna have to start looking after myself a little bit better. Doing things in my normal life that are gonna sort of help me heal and recover a little bit faster. Luckily, the shoulder did get better, and I retreated to my comfort zone skating curbs. <laughs> Getting hurt in skateboarding is something that happens and this time it really sucked. Facing injuries is something that is fundamental to skateboarding. At some point you're gonna get hurt. The biggest challenge is making sure that you get yourself back out on the board. As getting hurt is one of the biggest reasons that people quit skateboarding. What's the worst skateboarding injury you've had? I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you in the next one. Luckily, I did start to feel a little bit better. Luckily, I did manage to start feeling a little bit better, and we. Luckily, I did manage to start feeling a bit better.
a little bit less pain in the shoulder. And there is a blender in the background. This time? Nope. 